Hey everyone! Alright, so today I'm going to do another color coordinated um, eyeshadow makeup tutorial today. And basically, I, I hope you guys can tell I'm wearing a brown shirt. So, the colors I'm going to be using today for my eyeshadow shades are going to be basically these colors. The lightest shade is like a champagne type color, and then um, there's more of a, a medium dark brown color, and then the middle one is the darkest one I'll be using on my eyelids. Alright then, so let's get started. Alright, so as you see here, um, I'm using a concealer brush by Essence of Beauty, and I'm taking my Mary Kay concealer, as I showed you guys, and I'm putting that on both my eyes. I'm first going to put it on my eyelid, then to the inner corner of my eyes, like the nose, and underneath the eye. As you guys notice, I, I look like I have um, some makeup already on there. What I used before I put on this concealer was, it's called Yellow Neutralizing. It's also by Mary Kay. I put that on because, as you can see, I s slightly, afterward, I still have a bluish color, mo mostly noticeable in the inner corner of my nose. So with the concealer, you want to make sure that you dab, dab the concealer on and around your eyes. Don't want to brush it on right now since we've used the yellow neutralizing. We don't want to wipe that off completely. Want to make sure you dab it in and make sure it's, it's all. all dabbed on correctly and it's blended in. Then you want to do the same thing to the, to the other eye. Just in case you've missed any spots on, around your eye, go ahead and take a little bit more of concealer and as you see I'm filling in a little bit on the lower lash line. And again, I'm, I'm dabbing it in, make sure it's blended in well. Now the next, after you, after you finish with your eyes, the next thing you're going to do is the rest of your face. You're going to cover up any acne, redness, scarring um, that you may have on your face. My technique here, as you see, I I dab with small little parts as you see to the side of my nose, and then with that line I've drawn there, I dab in from that line either downwards or upwards. After you're done with the, with your after you're done with your cheeks, your forehead, your um and your forehead and your nose, go ahead and do your chin. And make sure if there is any parts of your face that's not blended well, go ahead and finish blending. Now the next thing I have is what's called Revlon Color Stay Active. This one is a natural beige. I just got this foundation not too long ago and I love this foundation. First of all, it's lightweight but it has great coverage. I have scars and acne as you could probably tell and it covers it for the most part and its waterproofness is excellent especially if days are hot. So you want to take your foundation brush dab a little bit on there and as you can see, I put um, more than just a little bit, but what you want to do with that is you want to dab it 
in sections of your face in threes as you can see what I'm doing here from the top of your cheek as I'm as you're seeing middle and the bottom and since there's a little bit extra on the brush I decided to do my chin and the next my next cheek you gotta be careful with this foundation this foundation is quick quickly drying so you want to make sure that um, that your face is is warm not cold and you want to make sure you dab it in quickly don't let it dry or else don't let it dry before blending because then it will look kind of cakey make sure you blend in all around your face make sure it's an even coverage and for the most part as you see here it's pretty even on my face see it's, it's covering quite a bit of my acne and things like that alright so the next step you want to do is I, as I just showed you here I'm using All My Bright Eyes you can get this from CVS at least that's where I got it and you want to squeeze just a little bit out And you want to put a little bit onto your eyelids. And you want to put it on the outer corners of your eye and also below the lash line. And make sure if you if you're using your fingertips or a brush or a sponge, make sure you blend it in very well. And I think as you can see, after using the yellow neutralizer, the concealer, and this next, it really covers up my bluish circles in my my dark my dark my darkness around my eyes. Using this, uh, using this all my bright eyes, um, eye primer. It also helps to blend in what we've already blended, meaning the yellow neutralizing and also the concealer. So you want to make sure just to blend it really well. Good. So after you've done priming your eyes, um, just make sure if there's anything else that you need to blend in around your eyes, go ahead and blend in. After putting on eye primer, you want to take your eyeshadow brush and you want to take your eyeshadow. In this case, we're going to take our champagne colored eyeshadow. It's the lightest one. We're going to take some of that, put it a little bit onto our eyeshadow brush. A couple few strokes will be just fine. Dab off the excess. and then put it onto the ball of your eyelids. 